Hey guys, welcome to our second video on solving logarithmic and exponential equations. So in this one, I've decided to just do exponential equations and harder versions than the ones that we've seen so far. In part three, we will do harder logarithmic equations. So, let's crack on. Okay, for our first example that we want to solve, e to the power 2x minus 7e e to the x is equal to minus 12. So at first this probably looks completely horrible. Now we can't take the log of both sides. We have different powered exponential terms and uh, just a constant term on its own. So it's really that constant term that's buggering things up for us. Having different powered exponential terms doesn't stop us if they're on different sides take logs and we can sort them out but if we were to add 7e to the x we would have an e to the x term and a constant term logging that isn't going to help us so what can we do well we can actually reduce this problem to something that we are quite familiar with in fact there was a whole chapter on them. This is actually a quadratic in disguise. So e to the power 2x is actually e to the x times e to the x. So it's e to the x squared. So what we're going to do is use a clever bit of substitution to turn this into a normal quadratic, at least at first. So, we're going to say y is equal to e to the power x. Then that also means y squared is e to the power 2x. So we can now rewrite this equation in terms of y. So, e to the power 2x is y squared. Minus 7 e to the x is minus 7 y and then that is equal to minus 12. So now we've got ourselves a nice normal quadratic. So now we need to solve this guy. So we need to add 12. So y squared minus 7 y plus 12 is equal to 0. It factorises to y minus 3, y minus 4. So that tells us y is equal to 3 and y is equal to 4. So that's when we can now undo our substitution and this tells us what e to the x is equal to so e to the x is equal to 3 or e to the x is equal to 4 so let's solve these guys separately so if e to the x is equal to 3 we need to undo e to the x for which we take the natural logarithm of both sides. So we would get x equals the natural log of 3 or on the right if e to the x is 4 take the natural log and we would get x equals the natural log of 4. We've solved the equation. Good times. Okay, next example, we want to solve 3 to the 2x minus 1 equals 6 to the 3 minus x. So, we got exponentials on both sides, we can log both sides. So, we would get log of 3 to the 2x minus 1 equals log of 6 to the 3 minus x. 
remember it doesn't matter what base our logs have as long as they both have the same so either use just log log which is log base 10 or you could also use the natural logarithm ln you would get to the same answers okay so now we're using the laws of logs the powers come down in front and multiply the term so on the left we've got 2x minus 1 lots of log 3 and that is equal to 3 minus x lots of log 6 so remember the aim of the game here is to get x on its own now it's a bit of a pain that we've got an x on both sides and both of them are stuck inside of a bracket so what we're going to have to do is expand the brackets so we're going to get 2x log 3 minus log 3 is equal to uh, 3 log 6 minus x log 6 so minus x log 6 like that now then, we want to get the x terms on the same side together so I'm going to add x log 6 to both sides so we're going to have 2x log 3 add x log 6 now I don't want any term over here on the left that doesn't contain an x so I'm also going to add log 3 to both sides so I've then got is equal to 3 log 6 uh, add log 3 okay so We've now got our x terms on the same side, which is good. What we can do now on the left is factorise, because we have a common factor of x. So if I take out a factor of x, we've then got x times 2 log 3. And then plus 1 log 6. So that is equal to uh, 3 log 6 add log 3. Alrighty. So now what we can do to get x on its own is divide by the bracket. So we get x is equal to 3 log 6 plus log 3 divided by this bracket so divided by 2 log 3 plus log 6 Now you could plug that into your calculator and get an answer. To me though that's not looking very nice to do, so I'm going to tidy up a bit first using the laws of logs. So 3 log 6 is the same as log 6 cubed or log of 6 cubed. 6 cubed is 6 
times 6 times 6, which is 216. So we've got log 216 plus log 3 over 2 log 3 is the same as uh, log of 9 because it's log of 3 squared. So we've got log 9 plus log 6 on the bottom. Now if we tidy that up a bit more, up on top, log of 216 add log of 3. Remember by the addition law, we multiply 216 by 3. So we get log of uh, 648 divided by, on the bottom, log 9 plus log 6 is log 54. So x is that, which as a decimal is 1.623. If we go to three decimal places, that was fun. Let's do one more. Okay, then this time we've got e to the x plus 3e e to the minus x minus 4 is equal to 0. So, what can we do with this one? We've got an e to the x and an e to the minus x. Well, remember from our rules of indices, e to the minus x means 1 over e to the x. So, we could rewrite this as e to the x plus 3 over e to the x minus 4 equals 0. So, we don't really like fractions, especially when we can get rid of them. So what we can do here is multiply through by e to the power x. Now what that's going to do is give us an e to the power 2x plus 3 minus 4 e to the power x and that is equal to 0. So if I rewrite the order of that we've got e to the 2x minus 4 uh, e to the x plus 3 equals 0. So we're now in a very similar position to the first one from this video. We've got a quadratic, it just looks a bit funny. So now we're going to say, we're going to let y equals e to the x, then y squared would be e to the 2x. So if we rewrite this in terms of y, we've got y squared minus 4y plus 3 equals 0. Then we can factorise this guy to y minus 3y minus 1 which gives us solutions y equals uh, positive 3 and y equals positive 1. Remember now, y is e to the x. So, we now know e to the x is 3 and e to the x is 1. So now we can solve those for x. Log both sides. So we would get x equals a natural log of 3 or on the right, x is the natural log of 1, which is actually just 0. There we go, guys. Jobs are good. Okay, that's it for this one. Next up, we're looking at harder logarithmic equations. It's going to be fun. Hope to see you there.